form. Just no right. It's not like basic all. yoga. I thought it was just like other stuff you could do. Yoga basics is more hatha. Because everybody intro. in there has already done classes and doesn't need to learn how to breathe. So the beginning would be to people who've never done yoga, and it's called intro. You're going to teach breathing first. You're going to take more time teaching breathing. Maybe uh, doing feel, you know, Antara Kumbhaka, and then feeling Baya Kumbhaka so they feel the full breath, or taking Durja breaths so they can feel everything build. Moving to Ujjayi Pranayama. Maybe that takes your first 10 15 minutes before you're even moving. And then seated? Or Either in seated. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely in seated. You don't want to be standing for yeah. 15 minutes. It's usually in seated or child's and then seated. Okay. Moving towards your basic sun A without uh, half push ups or with that cat cow. But if you're in seated, you could go right from that cat cow. That's what we did and too. And step forward, inhale, step up to half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, the arms up, exhale, the hands down. Pausing just for a moment so that they can get grounded with their breath, their strength. That's the slow baby version, right? We're teaching almost from all modifications and going from low to high. Mm -hmm. Jenny, and I love how Jenny's technique in teaching even vinyasa goes from low to high. Often that your first, your first, like your sun bee is sometimes more grounded than just standing in a crescent. Um, are you guys understanding how to turn an ashtanga, mm -hmm. which is a hatha class, into an intro class? Yeah? Yeah, I think just like. Do you want to cue me through that? Slowing it and simplifying it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Just a bit. When, so at lifetime, well, our, our, our format. Yeah, I said, no, if you wanted to go through this one. No, but they don't need to. I mean, like. We don't need to be doing yeah. all the yoga. All right. You so, what to do it. So, um. <laughs> I can do it. Somewhat, yeah. it just says. Just kind of go off a somewhat of a script like this. So think of sun A, simple, sun B, simple, and then how we're putting Ashtanga into very, very simple, basic so intro. Intro to yoga from an Ashtanga class, right? I need somebody to do the yoga. So you're going to, it's not going to, just going to oh, be the. No, you can you can read it, but that's just like a variation of it. It's not going to say oh, every single okay. inhale and exhale. I know I won't. <laughs> this is great. You guys so, go do the yoga too. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, it? It? you <laughs> kids do the yoga. The Let's do the yoga. Come on. Forward folds. It doesn't have inhale and exhale, but triangle and extended side angle is a blend of both. Go ahead and sit down. Do you want me to explain that to you? Yeah. So you know just an example of what that might look like for an intro intro class would be the, you can read that first part, but that second part would just be if you're doing, let's say triangle, and it's just an intro class, you would just do slightly bend the knee and add on and blend extended side angle and triangle. So what that might do if they've never done yoga would just be here, right? Because it looks like a little bit like triangle. Here, here, with another one here. Arm out maybe, and just out. straight. You have to hard center. Yeah. So what she's saying that sometimes, have you had, ever had a hard time in triangle just keeping your legs straight? You almost feel like you're wobbling even in your triangle, so you want to put a little bend in it. But then sometimes when you're in side angle, you want to go so deep. So you can do a, a mush, kind of like how you guys said, Muliana Bandha yeah. was two bandhas. Uh -huh. This is two poses, mush does one to make it easier. Mm -hmm. So the basic shape. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's like that we're moving. Basic And then so that would be your blend of triangle and extended side angle and a very, very intro to Ashtanga. So that's triangle and extended side angle. Obviously, they're not doing a deep prayer twist, but a reverse white bead. Who said knee down? Right? You can come down. Mm -hmm. Hands can come to heart center and you can hook and look. Hook and look. I like that. Hook and look. That's, that's a good one. That is a cue. You know, I got that here. So. Oh, and who I got it from? Jason. Oh, good times with Jason. Yeah. Right? What's next? Extended side angle. Reverse. Inhale strong T, and then we're going to do strong T, and then we're going to go into wide leg forward fold to the side of your mat. <laughs> I don't know this. You're not even reading that. That's right. Because I don't know that. We've done it about We about literally do it every day. And yeah. then you can still even come low, right? We've done it every day. Yeah. I literally was like, how are you doing that? But you see how she's creating a flow with the standing pose? It's the same thing. Because vinyasa is pretty much the same too, but you have yeah. much more bare, bare yeah. to Yeah, same thing. Yeah. What's next, Catherine? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're going to come into pyramid on the right. So here, you would just have a maybe class hands behind back, maybe hands to hips. You wouldn't know who you were. She just did wide. She did, she did wide. wide. She came up and then she turned to the other side. So pyramid would just be what I did with Marissa this morning. Hands clasped. And just did it very lightly, not coming all the way down. Just to table. So you always want to bind behind the back? Well, this is no, a little bit more intense. Well, I'm saying, could you do hands to hips? Hands to hips is one. You just reach for your toes. What? You just reach for your toes. And you're not opening your. Is it the nice one to your heart center? It's bringing your elbows back. So I feel like that would be easier to pull up and put your hands on your elbows. That's actually better than. Yeah. 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 The other yeah, two can right. be the head of the shoulder so is fold. I don't know that for right. your basement. I do like the class. Oh, the beach ball. And yeah, your oh, the beach ball. Exactly. And then that's, you would repeat on the other side. And then you're going to come into your standing health posture. So I guess we would just do maybe one leg off, maybe three even. Three is pretty common while long one. And what's the most tree? For tree, you can just you maybe can come off. to tiptoe or maybe on your wall, shin. or you can just, yeah, can't can't you, just just, you can just do a small one. Yeah, just leave yeah. it on the ground, I would think. And then if they feel or confident, or shin, maybe they slide it up slowly. to the low shin. Slowly bring and it up. Eventually it would be. And then they, they throw it up over the back of the head. <laughs> well, and I feel like with, with Jenny, instead of the hips, if they were in this, when they were in the tree. And then they can grow if they want to. And that's the same thing when you're in the chair and it's uh, both rounded. What's next, Catherine? Oh, uh, we're done with standing, so we're going to celebrate. So how would you do that? Team me through. To celebrate? Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> so we can still do chair. So I'll have you uh, exhale top of your mats on the CD. Inhale, circle the arms up, seat drops, chair. So just... FYI, when you guys celebrate, the people who are not part of our community have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. You really need a little a story behind the celebrate part. Like, you know how oh, you just got through the hardest part of yoga, so let's celebrate by moving one breath, one motion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, it's time to celebrate. Everybody feels like they missed out on like the pack. Yeah. <laughs> what what am I celebrating? Yeah. Um Inhale, okay. drop the seat, arm circle okay. up, look up to your pose. Merge your arms go. If it's an Four hands heart center. Okay. <laughs> Exhale forward fold. Okay, we're gonna take this off. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back onto your knees to neutral table. Nice. Inhale, tail and chin lift for cow. Exhale, tail and chill curve under, back rounds for calf. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, go ahead and bring your feet to meet your hands. We're going to come back to our mat standing. I feel like she's teaching. She did hey, let's see, look at the alignments. Let's make a TikTok. <laughs> 
do it for like our actual class and I just Inhale, do some exhale. Yes. Exhale for bowl. And then I'm going to have you take your right foot step back and we're going to come into maybe warrior or dropping that back knee. So that right foot's going to step back, 45 degree angle. Slightly bend into that leg or maybe dropping that back foot down. Nice. Inhale. Disclaimer needed to keep breathing while I'm going to keep explaining. Keep okay. breathing steady. Because there are going to be moments where you have to explain a lot more than say one breath, one motion. That's where you got to tell them, keep your breathing while I give you every little explanation of the next pose. Next. Inhale. Inhale. For me, so? Oh, no, well, go ahead. Maybe. Anna. So, inhale, circle. Wait, did you already circle down the arms? No, she did not. So, <laughs> <laughs> inhale, circle the arms up, gaze up. What, what if they're wobbly? What um, would you say? Um, <laughs> put the left toes under. Bring your, bring your hands to heart. Bring your hands to heart or bring your hands to hips. Pull the belly in. Ground down through the right heel and the left knee. Stabilize yourself first before you inhale rise. Do you know what I mean? Staying up away from the ground up. Yeah. Even it's more so than ever. Same F away for sure. So exhales have what funda engaging? Low belly drawing in. That'll stabilize their hips. If they're wobbly at all, you've got to mention stabilize your feet by widening your stance. And yep, it is inhale, lift the torso. And then from there, would you <coughs> go to a transition like um, going into something else, like a, uh, a, a, a get an F-split type thing? Maybe I would go into a warrior two. You know, inhale with the chest, exhale, Turn to the long side of the mat. Look over to the right. Long side, look over to the right. You're on the right. No, she's right. Oh, no, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, right. To the right. That's a lot of me. This right. So turn your chest to the long side of the mat. Right or left? Turn your chest to the long side of the mat, left Where shoulder back, right arm forward. Right? That's kind of like a warrior B. Mm -hmm. Right? And then and you I just even I inhale and I'll bring feet back. And yeah. Then we're this up. Exhale, lower that right hand down on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, send your left arm over the left ear. Good. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Feels really good. Inhale, turn your left toe under and lift up the left knee. Exhale, turn the left foot flat at a 45 degree angle and pull the belly in, adjusting if necessary. Inhale, slowly bring your hands to your hips as you lift your chest. Exhale, bear a little more weight into your right leg, maybe straightening, and you're into your left leg, maybe straightening the right leg just a smidge so you feel strong and balanced. Okay. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Stand tall, bear energy down through the earth like a grand mountain. Feeling the sun warm you. Allow your breath to heat you from within. So, so quick question. It just seemed like that was mainly breath and movement. Do, do we include your feet? I would I want to say it's not as included until we get to longer holding standing poses. Okay. And if the students are like it's, it's more like if they really are not staying focused on their breathing, 
then you just tell them when you're staying focused on your breathing just you know a soft gaze past the nose or at a single point in front of you but drishti is really important in those balancing poses that it's hard to balance with your eyes closed or with the your eyes darting around. So the, the ones where you are in balancing poses and that you're holding for approximately five seconds, have you been mostly holding it for three? Or are you still holding it for three? I would say press. I've tried it both ways, where you just flow it, and then where you hold it for three, and then you introduce each one for three breaths, and then you flow it. You know, so you can flow it first, or you can flow it after. How does that flow feel for you? It worked. Yeah, because you could add a reverse warrior there. I was just trying to keep it towards the modified Ashtanga poses, which are already kind of enough. And then, from that, you can step them right back up to chair. Mm -hmm. So in those poses, there's almost no vinyasa. It's just step the foot back, and all of a sudden I'm in a pose. And I'm coming up, and I'm twisting. I'm coming up, and I'm twisting the other side. And then you can bend your knees. Exhale, butt to the floor, boat pose, 10 minutes, go. Hold 10. Free. <laughs> Where's the energy? Where's the energy to your hands? Beautiful goal. Okay. Where's Jen? She was going to the bathroom. So, the idea is this you have all the poses that you need for a basic an intro to yoga class. So in our short form Ashtanga, the importance is the rhythm that you get breath, motion, drishti, so that the rhythm stays the same throughout the class. The importance in an intro class is giving them the experience of how to do the breathing correctly, how to be in the pose correctly, what they might be feeling, and you know, taking time to show them what's to being stable in your in your poses feels like. So you'll maybe teach one pose where you teach them the edge, but everything else is more like a basic shape with stability. Because you're just getting them to breathe and move. Now, if it is a, a class of people who are brand new to yoga, but they have fitness background,